One of the coolest features of the iPhone is of course the dynamic island. It is really useful if you know how to use it and of course if you have the right apps on your iPhone that will allow you to do more with the dynamic island. Not just do more but have a lot more features on it and make it actually useful. So in today's video I will show you guys a few apps that are really useful and of course will allow you to do more with the dynamic island on your device. Like this app right here, it is called Dynamic Lyrics. So you open the app, you connect it to Spotify or Apple Music and then all you have to do is just enable the live activity right there. Once you have done that and you go to your home screen, you can see right there at the top we actually have the lyrics of the music that is playing right there and it will even scroll right there the lyrics just right there on the left side without even expanding the dynamic island now of course i can go ahead and just touch dynamic island here and there i have my lyrics of the song that is currently playing i can move forward here go backwards or play and pause the music anytime I want and as you can see right there as this song is going in the background it will also display the lyrics which is really cool. Now this app will allow you to have the lyrics also on widgets on the home screen as well as as a floating window on the picture in picture mode so you can have the lyrics of any song anywhere on your device. When it comes to music, control bar is another one that is super useful. It allows you to have your music controls right on the dynamic island. So if I'm playing music, I can go ahead and have my controls right there. As you can see from the dynamic island, I can go ahead and turn up or down the volume of my device. I can move forward, backwards, or maybe just go into shuffle mode. But what you can do is also change these controls and add more, remove more, or maybe just customize the way they look. So right here you can tap the edit button and you will have a lot more control. So you can choose basically whatever you want to have there, which is really awesome. Then you can also change the background. So you can go with different colors here and then change the tint for the buttons as well. And also change the shape of the button. Once you have set all that up, you just tap right here to start it. It will be on the dynamic island and from anywhere on your device, you will have those music controls. Dynamic notes is up next. It allows you to have notes on the dynamic island of your device. So here's the app. I can go ahead and add my notes right there enable the live activity from here and then once i'm out of here i'm on an app maybe i need to do something i'm working on something but i have a few notes that i need i will just have them right here on the dynamic island and from here i can go ahead and switch back and forth between the different notes that i have added into the app if i need one of them i can go ahead and copy directly from there as you can see it's copied now or if I just have done the work with any one of them and I don't need it anymore, I can just go ahead and delete it as easy as that. Next up is sticky timers. Now you can have a timer on the dynamic island of your device with the stock clock app of iOS, but you cannot have multiple timers at the same time. So if I have three timers enabled here, I can go right on my dynamic island and there I have all the different timers. Now what's really cool is of course that you can customize these. You will have a ton of preset timers right here that you can add. So you can quickly add any one of them or just go ahead and create a new timer here and you can also add different emojis for different timers to basically label them and better know what you're using them for. And then right here, if you go to themes, you can actually change the way they look. So you can change and customize your timer so they look different. And of course, not have always the exact same boring theme for your timers. The next one will be Lock Launcher. Now this allows you to have your favorite apps right on the dynamic island. It's basically like a second dock from your device, but in comparison to the dock that you have on your home screen, which you can only have access to when you're on the home screen, with this one, once you have it enabled, you will basically have the ability to have your apps that you need any, anywhere on your device. So from anywhere, you simply invoke the dynamic island and open any app that you have set up right there and even shows you the current date and time right here which is really awesome now here's how you configure this you come into the app you will have different groups of apps you tap on add action and you can go ahead and choose here any app you want and add it to your dynamic island and not just app you can even have like websites or music 
you want to add music, you can add different playlists that you have on your Apple Music app, which is really awesome. Access your favorite playlist directly from the Dynamic Island. And you can even have your shortcuts there and your shortcuts that you have created or have added to your shortcuts app can now be part of your Dynamic Island. Next up is Dynamic X. Now, Dynamic X allows you to have different informations on the dynamic island of your device. So here we have one that is preset, so you will have your data usage. So you're monitoring the data usage, you will see here the Wi-Fi and the seller upload and download. We can start this like that and have it on the dynamic island. As you can see, it shows it right here. It looks really cool, but if we open it, we will see way more details. Going back into the app, you can tap the plus button and from here you can set up your own. So you will have basically here the different look. So this is for the small one that shows right here. You can choose to create one. You save it right here and you can start it anytime you want. And you will have the bigger one. So you will have the leading and trailing so basically the left side and the right side you can just switch between these and choose whatever you want to have there all kinds of different informations from your cpu to your network usage as you can see the date and time the ram memory usage the location and all that so you will have all the different looks you can just go ahead and customize them and have any information you need right on your dynamic island now this one is really cool. This one is called point in time. So you're basically setting a time here. So it's just like a countdown basically. So if I'm choosing, let's say 1028 right here, I can just go ahead and start the timer and it will show it right there on the dynamic island. So point in time until that time that I have set, seven hours, 37 minutes. It looks really cool on the dynamic island in this way. Of course, you can even expand this and it will show you how much time it has been since like starting from the current time since that o'clock or of course if you choose a time in the future it will show you how much time until then so it's actually really really useful so any like countdown that you need or any time that you want to measure since you, since you have done something you can just go ahead and use this app and have this really cool look on your dynamic island Next up is Tele. Anytime you need to have a Tele counter, you can now actually have them on your dynamic island. This is really cool. You start the live activity right here. You can have as many as you want. Here you can see I have three of those and I will have all the three of them right on my dynamic island. And if I want to add, I can just go ahead and tap right there. You can see it will add to the Tele counter right there. I don't need to open the app. It is pretty cool. So you can, of course, have them labeled so you know what you're counting there and have multiple tallies right here on your dynamic island. And last but not least is LiveMinder. This allows you to have your reminders on the dynamic island. And what's really cool is that you can set reminders within the app and have them right there. Just access them anytime you need. Or you can actually go ahead and can connect this to the Reminders app, to the Stock Reminders app of iOS. As you can see right here, I have it connected and it will show me also the reminders that I have on the Reminders app. So I don't need to use two apps to have them on the Dynamic Island. I can just go ahead and add them to the Stock Reminders app and it will sync it with this app and have them on the dynamic island anytime I need them. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are some super useful dynamic island apps that I believe will make the dynamic island on your device way more useful and allow you to do much more. If you want to install any of these apps, you will find all the links down below in the pinned comment. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next one.